Hey guys, so as you can see from the title above, this is going to be a pregnancy update video. Um, I don't think I've filmed a pregnancy update video since I was like 20, I think 28 weeks pregnant or something like that. Um, I am now officially eight months pregnant. It is freaking crazy. Um, I am 33 weeks. I'll be 34 weeks in two days. So I'm almost at the 34 week mark, which is crazy because that just means I have six weeks left. And I feel like for the most part, this pregnancy has went by so fast. Um, and now that like I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable, I feel like it's kind of dragging a little bit. Of course, because they say like the final few weeks, it feels like you're pregnant for like a whole nine months all over again. So, and as you can see before I start the video, I am in the nursery. The nursery is 100% complete. Um, I've been waiting on David to feel better because he started to get sick there for a while and um, I wanted him to kind of be a part of the nursery tour video. So um, I've been kind of waiting on him to get better before we film that, but I'm hoping to have it filmed for sure within the next few days. I might even try to see if he wants to do it tonight. I don't know. But the nursery is 100% done. I had all her, I've washed all her laundry. I boiled and sanitized all her pacifiers and her bottles and I washed all her blankets and her sheets and um, her bag is officially packed, so that is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, let's just jump right into my pregnancy update. Okay, so for the for the most part, I have been feeling really well, um, especially to be eight months pregnant. Um, I have noticed that, like, you might notice it throughout this video, like, I'm just sitting here talking and I get so out of breath still. Um, I've kind of been breathy, like, my whole pregnancy, but it's definitely getting worse now that, like, I'm eight months pregnant. Just, like, simple things like taking the laundry out of the dryer or folding laundry or just sitting here having a conversation, as you can see. I get out of breath very, very easily. Like, I'll just be sitting in the car and I'll bend down to pick something up that fell on the floor if I can reach it. And I literally feel like I just got done running like a 5k marathon. It is crazy how out of breath I get, but I guess it's to be expected because she is a growing girl and she is taking up a lot of room in my belly. According to my app, she is the size of a pineapple. So she's measuring between 17 to 19 inches in length, which I actually feel like she's longer than that because I, I can just feel that she is very, very long and like the ultrasounds and stuff, even the doctor said that she's got like a really long torso and she's got long legs and long arms. Um, so I feel like she's going to be long for sure. I don't feel like she's going to be very big as far as weight because I don't know, like I just, I guess I carry her different. She's stayed really low for the most part. Like she's, I have not had her up in my ribs yet. Um, I'm hoping that I don't because I heard it's very, very uncomfortable. Um, but for the most part, my whole entire pregnancy, she has been very, very low, um, which is also uncomfortable because when she kicks and stuff, it literally feels like she's playing soccer with my cervix. And sometimes like I'll be walking and it feels like her foot is trying to come out of down there. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, oh, it's so uncomfortable. Like sometimes I wish that she would just move up just to give my lower area a break. And also, um, according to my app, she is four and a half pounds, I believe. And from here on out, she's supposed to gain like half a pound a week up until due date. So um, along with weight gain, I have been really good with my weight gain as well. Um, I think the average for where I'm at right now is around 28 pounds. I have only gained 17 pounds, which I feel is really good. Um, I eat really good for the most part of my pregnancy. Like I try to stay on my health kick. Um, I do get cravings every once in a while for like a cheeseburger and some french fries and ice cream and I eat cereal every single day. That's like my go-to. Like every single night after dinner, cereal is my dessert and I really don't have like a preference, like a favorite cereal. I have so many boxes of cereal though in my pantry. I like to keep a wide variety because I'm not always in the same mood for the same kind of cereal. You know what I mean? I still, however, cannot eat pizza. Pizza gives me the absolute worst heartburn of my life. I kind of already have like heartburn anyways with a lot of stuff that I eat. Um, I eat Tums, like Tic Tacs, like I pop those babies all the time. And, um, but I just feel like for some reason, I guess it's the tomato based, like the tomato based, I don't know. But I just feel like pizza gives me the absolute worst heartburn, which sucks because I love pizza. But um, I would much rather just pass on a slice of pizza than to be up all night with a really, really bad heartburn. It literally feels like lava is coming up in my throat. It's crazy. I hate it. It's so uncomfortable. As for feeling sick, I know a lot of women get nauseous 
a lot of women get like their nausea back in their third trimester, kind of like how in the first trimester. But I have not been nauseous at all since my first pregnancy, or my first pregnancy, my first trimester. Um, I don't really get nauseous at all. I, my tiredness is definitely back. Like I feel like I don't sleep very well at night. So I'm constantly tired throughout the day because um, during the day she's not super, super active. But at night, I swear, like, looking at my stomach, I look down and it's like my whole stomach is so warped. And it looks like there is an alien trying to bust out in my stomach. Like, it just constantly, like, it's just constantly moving like crazy. And, um, it's very, very uncomfortable sometimes, but I love watching it. And I have also discovered that she has the hiccups. She gets the hiccups, um, not very often. But I have felt them maybe four times already and she actually had them last night and David got to feel it for the first time and we actually just sat and watched and my stomach just kind of bloop, bloop, bloop. It's so freaking cute. I love when she gets the hiccups. It's like the cutest thing ever. Aside from all of that, um, I've overall I've been feeling really, really good. Um, I had to start wearing nursing pads because my milk is definitely coming in and if I don't wear them, I will be walking around with wet spots on my shirt because I leak. <laughs> I do plan on breastfeeding, but I'm going to save all of that information for my pregnancy Q&A video that I'm going to film with David because I have like a whole list of questions that were asked for us. And um, yeah, I get into like breastfeeding and my delivery plan and my birthing plan and all of that stuff. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested, then just stay tuned for that. We have not filmed it yet, but um, like I said, he's been sick, so I've been kind of just waiting on him to get better. Um, I also hope that the noise in the background isn't bothering you because my neighbor, I'm right here in front of her window, and my neighbor over there is like cutting grass, and then my other neighbor over here is like sawing down his tree. So if you hear really weird noises or like loud noises or whatever, that's what it is. So I apologize. Um, I've been having a lot of back pain recently, and I've also, and I've also experienced Braxton Hicks. Those are not the most comfiest thing in the world. Um, I mean, they don't hurt, they're nothing painful and it's nothing consistent, but they definitely are getting me ready for labor pain, like for labor for sure. <laughs> um, it's so crazy because my whole stomach will get like rock hard and just get super tight and I'll feel it. It feels like it wraps around into my back. Um, very uncomfortable, but it's all part of it. So, um, and it's so weird because like in the beginning I dreaded labor I was like petrified of it I was just like oh my god like I I wanted to be a mom so bad but I was just like god I, I wish I could just snap my fingers and she'll be here like I don't want to go through labor but now that like it's getting closer and like I'm getting more uncomfortable with like my back and stuff like that and everything is just starting to ache more um I'm really kind of excited like I'm I tell my sister this all the time like I'm kind of over being pregnant because I have days where I am miserable and I feel huge and everything hurts um, and then I feel bad for wanting to rush it because then I have those days where I feel amazing and I feel energetic and I just I look down I see her moving around and I'm like I know I'm gonna miss this but I just I cannot wait for her to be here I don't know I, I'm just like all over the place with it like of course I'm nervous to give birth because I mean I'm human <laughs> I don't know it's hard to explain if you're like not in the situation like I'm nervous and I'm not ready but I'm so ready at the same time uh, we are gonna do a belly cast also um, I'm really excited to do it because I obviously have never done one before but they look so cool to do uh, David and I are gonna do it probably when I'm more like further along um, because I know I'm just gonna get bigger and bigger every week and if you guys want to see belly shots I post them on Instagram a lot I feel like my pregnancy updates kind of taken over my Instagram. <laughs> so if you're wondering, um, if so, if you're wanting to see belly shots and stuff like that, um, I do post pictures on my Instagram, so you can follow me there. My name on Instagram is the same as my YouTube channel. It's Purple Kisses 1110. So if you guys want to go jump over there and see some pictures of my big old belly, then just follow me on Instagram. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like I covered a lot of stuff. I feel like I covered everything. I don't know. I'm sure after I record this video and I go to edit it and I go to upload it, I'm going to forget something that I, I I'm going to think of something that I forgot to mention, of course, but whatever. And also, before I end this video, I have one more appointment, which is next Thursday. I'll be 30, 
I'll be 35 weeks when I go. Holy shit, it's so crazy. I'll be 35 weeks and then I start going every single week. And that's when they'll start checking me, I'm sure, to see if I'm dilating and stuff like that. So um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted there. Um, David's going to try to be going with me to those appointments. So I'll see if he'll vlog a little bit. I don't think they really allowed recording in my doctor's office. So I don't know how, I don't know. I'll try to figure something out. I really want to try to vlog the last few weeks. So yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys posted more often with my pregnancy updates now that I'm getting closer and closer to my due date. And for those who don't know, my due date is on Thanksgiving, so that's crazy. Um, I kind of want to make it to Thanksgiving because I want me some turkey and some macaroni and cheese and some rolls and some green beans. Uh, <laughs> but um, if I don't, it's totally fine. That just means that she'll be here to celebrate Thanksgiving with us, so that's even better. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe. If you guys want to see pregnancy... Uh, if you guys want to see pregnancy pictures of my belly and to see a little bit more frequent updates, you can check my Instagram. Like I said, I update on there. It's kind of like my personal Instagram. I don't just use it for YouTube. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.